Hi, this is Manos Brilakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute presenting case 36 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case showing application of the retrograde approach for resolving proximal cap ambiguity. This is a picture that shows for some people a young lady, to some other people an older lady, and ambiguity is something fairly common in CTO-PCI and there are several ways to resolve it, including use of the retrograde approach. The patient had a an LAD CTO. It was actually a two-level CTO. There was a CTO of the ostium of the lady, immediately proximal to a previously placed stand. Then there was some filling of the mid LAD via collaterals and then a second occlusion, a second CTO from the mid to the distal left anterior descending artery. This is the RAO caudal view, demonstrating the previously placed stand, some reconstitution of the medial AD via collaterals, and reconstitution of the distal LAD via picardial collaterals as well. Several attempts were made under grade to cross using the previous stand as a marker. However, the wire was clearly outside the previous stand. Therefore, we quickly changed to a retrograde approach. We were able to advance a guide wire all the way from the apical collateral into the distal LAD successfully as shown in this um, uh, injection from the right. And then did the retrograde wire escalation. However, the wire went into the subintimal space in the mid LAD. We performed the second retrograde crossing through a, sec through a second microcatheter from another uh, septal collateral and were able to advance a guide wire into the mid LAD and then, being, and then we were able to retrograde advance a wire close, close to the proximal LAD. Then after doing that, we were able to advance an undergrade pilot 200 guide wire that was knuckled. And intravascular ultrasound confirmed that that wire was actually inside the previously placed stand. Although more distally, it might have been in dissection plane. The problem with that is that we would still have to connect to the distal LAD. Therefore, we advanced further down the wire coming from the distal collateral and now we have the loop of the wire close to the proximal LAD and we have inserted a guideliner. When the proximal LAD is involved in a retrograde crossing it is important to protect the left main and one way to do that is by advancing a guideliner into the LAD instead of doing retrograde wiring attempts that can cause left main dissection and other problems. So we advanced the undergrade uh, stingray wire, trying to do um, crossing with pilot. However, then we were able to predilate and advanced a retrograde wire from the retrograde corsair all the way into the undergrade um, guide liner and into the undergrade guide catheter. After doing that, we performed standing within the previous 10 segments and uh, there is improvement in flow. However, the distal part of the occlusion, distal to the stand, uh, looks uh, um, a little uh, hazy. And repeat um, intravascular ultrasound did demonstrate that we had uh, some dissection distally, this dissection plane with the true lumen being on the top, being fairly compressed. So our stents had not covered all the dissection plane and this is the distal, the most distally placed stand. As a result, we placed another stand, distal to the previously placed stand. And by doing that, we obtained a nice result, restoring undergrade TM3 flow into the distal LAD. Unfortunately, we were unable to preserve TM3 flow in the diagonal branch. However, there was some flow into the branch, and it's potentially uh, going to improve over time when there's time for this to um, increase. So in summary, this is a case in which the retrograde approach was used to resolve a proximal cap ambiguity. In this particular case, we actually had both proximal and mid ambiguity. We tried undergrade, but we were unable to make the connection. However, the retrograde was successful in leading to successful crossing. Another important component of this case is using a guide catheter extension, a guide liner, when there is retrograde into the LAD or to the circumflex for that matter which is a safety measure to prevent any potential injury to the left main by retrograde wiring attempts. Thank you.